obsessively collect and sort and <laughs> yeah, like and, and she's kind of a minimalist. So so you imagine our like just like the way we decorate is just I, I bring in rocks. I've always been obsessed with bathtubs and have been painting <laughs> them often. I first decided I wanted to be an artist when I was in first grade. Um, I believe I was doing a drawing at the time. And then I um, realized when I walked into my junior high art room that I wanted to be an oil painter specifically because I was struck by the wonderful smell of oils and it was love at first smell. And was able to go to Tyler School of Art in Rome. And from there, I realized after going into the Van Gogh Museum that I was an abstract artist. I'm a sculptor, I, I guess, and I don't really have a medium. I, I, I do whatever, you know, wherever I'm led, whatever I'm headed to. I, I grew up, I grew up, my grandfather was an immigrant and, and a farmer, so like, we just grew up doing things on our own. We just, like, you, you didn't, like, figure out, you, you didn't know, you, you just fixed things. You didn't, like, ask, can I fix this? You just figured out how to do it. So I kind of had that approach with artwork, with all medium, mediums and media. Like you just, you know, I, I want to do a giant piece out of paper and figure out how to do it, figure out how to glue it together. There's pattern throughout life and there's organization. Even when I'm driving in my car, I, I get this glimpse of something and I try and bring it back into my studio and, and recreate it um, to what I want to see it as to what I want to see it, or how I think it should be seen. I worked in a machine shop for my grandfather, so there's a lot of like repetition in the same pieces again, so I, I, when I work on big pieces, especially when, when uh, I'm working with aggregate, like lots of pieces, like I'll come up with an idea and I'll think like, that'll look great if I had like a thousand of these or 250 of these. I, I, don't, I don't go into that not understanding what that means. Like, like I, I know the pain that's involved in making 250 of the exact same piece and then arranging them. But like the end is worth it. So, like I said about sculpture, stone as well. Like it, there's not a lot of glory in the actual doing of it, even though I enjoy the process. We've been married for 20 years, and we went to high school together. Actually, started in junior high. So we met each other when we were in seventh grade. Um, it was a very small high school, and yet we took art classes together, but never really talked to each other because we just felt the other person wouldn't be interested in talking. We reconnected when his brother married my cousin, and he was best man and I was maid of honor in their wedding. And um, we soon after fell in love kind of immediately. But we have the same, not, not the same likes necessarily, but we, we see the same thing as we see the same, like, you know, sometimes you look at a landscape and, and there's just something that's different or something that sets it apart and like we, we kind of always connect on that same level. He sends me pictures when he's working on a bridge and um, quite recently I made a painting after one <laughs> yeah. of them. He sent me this old, it's a great painting. It was on a yellow, was it a wall? Yeah, it was and a, it was like a rust area. I was like, oh, it's so beautiful. Painting. So. <laughs> so we'll do that too. Like, yeah, like, because like, everywhere you, you go, you can be inspired by things and, and you know, like she mentioned, I was on a, on a bridge doing work and you get to see, I mean, these are places that nobody really gets to see and experience and sometimes when um, you're, you're, you're in situations like that too, like bridges, like any infrastructure too, there's erosion sets in and you don't paint it all the time, so all these interesting things can happen and things fall and they're breathing from the road, so there's just like neat, you know, just, just special little situations and, and uh, compositions that you can, you can see. <laughs> makes it very accessible to the viewer. There's an uncomplicated beauty about his work, and yet it can be complicated at the same time, but appear not to be so. The artwork that, that I make isn't even about one thing in particular, it's just about everything you get to experience. I mean, you know, like the stars, the um, geology, like a, a big, like deep time, like you, you think about string theory, the way things are knit together, the way actual matter is, is put together, like all these things, like, if you know when you look at them, maybe just the way I look at, at them being an artist, but like they're they're beautiful and they're breathtaking the way they're structured and put together, and, and the harmony between really large things and, and really tiny things and the way atoms are put together, and so the works about all those things, like wavelengths and and like magnetic fields and all this, like as an artist, I get to obsess about 
all these different fields and yet not have to go to school and get a degree to, to play with them. Like, uh, I can pretend to be a geologist for a little bit, I can pretend to be a cosmologist, and, and uh, but then, it, like I said, there's a simple beauty to the way this world is put together and, and the universe is put together that I, I, I just find fascinating. And, and like, if, if you, this is where you come in too, like as far as your artwork goes too, it's about the work is, is really about, you know, maybe things that you wouldn't necessarily think about being beautiful, like we mentioned before about the bridges and, and rust and corrosion and, and how things erode and, and just like when you pass through a field and you get the same kind of pattern, but like with subtle differences, just those little things, if, you, if we can make people stop a minute and look at like things that we normally not not look at, but, but see the beauty in everything that's around you, like a, that's what it's about.